Hi guys, it's Bear. We're over at the range today. Uh, got a sight in the pad of my shotgun, my, my Thule. I don't, for those of you that remember, we did a, a spring uh, preview. Unfortunately, today's the last day of turkey season and life being what it is, I have not been able to get into the woods at all since we made that last video. But, never fear, deer season's coming up in just a few short weeks, so there's still hope. All right? Today we're going to pattern and I'm going to load, get ready to load. I got my powder measure here set at 60 grains. Take my powder, pour it in, tap it down. <coughs> We're going to start at 60. That's the caliber of the, the approximate caliber of the bore. Now, this is an over powder wad. What we're going to do is we're going to stick this in, pull the ramrod, and send it home. This is an undershot card. It's a thick piece of cardboard. Now, this is my shot snake. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that up. And there's a little cup right here. That my shot goes into. So I'm also going to single load it with this shot. Tap it a couple of times and pack it down. This is an overshot card. Now, all that I'm doing, I'm not doing anything special. I'm building a shotgun shell. You've seen your average shotgun shell. Well, this is it without the plastic. I'm priming the pan. Now the gun is active. Hold on a minute, we'll get repositioned and we'll go through the motion we'll go through the motions here. Go. Alright guys. <clears throat> right here is the 25 yard line. Let's see what she'll do. Take off the safety. Alright, she went. Alright guys, I think I'm satisfied with one shot. You can look. I've got a, I've got a flyer up here, but my core is right here. That's that's pattern is probably spread over 18 or 20 inches. That's probably a cloud of 18 or 20 inches. And the concentrate, the, the concentration of the shot is right in here right in the center, that's exactly where I want it. 
We may just find another one for fun. Let Blackie try it for fun. Alright guys, <clears throat> there you have it, warts and all. Are they, are they, you have to kind of work with a flint, okay? Because they are an open air ignition and down here you can just about cut, cut the air with a knife. You've seen it in the hands of the great master and you've seen it in my hands. I encourage you to get a flintlock. They're, they're an ideal, ideal source of ignition for any firearm. And there's a reason they've been used for the last roughly 500 years. Okay, they're good. And they're a lot of fun. If you've enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe to Bears Old Ways. And y'all have a great day.